so I 3D printed this uh, little adapter. It's a hose hose adapter to PEX, and I got a, a seal in there. I had to sand it down a little bit. It wouldn't quite fit, so it looks like it will now. And I'm just gonna put a hose clamp just to hold it on there. It doesn't need to be super tight. So now I should be able to run water through. This is my supply. This is my return. So let's go turn the hose on and run some water through this thing. Well, looks like we found a leak. This one right here is leaking, so it doesn't look like it went on there straight. So I'm going to pull that fitting off and see if we can fix it. Yep, a broken O-ring. So these fittings, uh, the Pexile Pex fittings, they have two O-rings. And uh, if you don't kind of ream the, the inside of this pipe out a little bit to give it kind of a flare, I think the back side of that O-ring got caught on, I couldn't see it probably. So it folded over and broke. Um, and so that's got to be fixed. So we'll have to run up to the hardware store and get a new O-ring for that yet tomorrow. Everything else with this loop is good. So no leaks on the other fitting and no leaks inside. So that loop is good. Now I just have to test the other loop, which goes over to the addition. So I'll have to make sure I determine which one is the in and which one is the out. Cause I got to make sure that the hot water, the, the supply side of this goes in and goes through the hot uh, water tank loop first. So I think I'm gonna need help for this. A little hose connection, the 3D printed uh, connection worked perfectly though. It leaked a little bit, but that's okay. It served its purpose. So down here in the crawl space of the addition, we have another water heater, and this is the uh, plate exchanger here. This one's already all hooked up. We've got our tubing coming in, and it comes in here and then goes out over to our uh, heat exchanger for the furnace, which I actually have to put back in. So I'll get that put back in, and then I'm gonna have Summer help me out with this. She's going to stay down here and listen for the water. So uh, if she hears water coming into this pipe first, then I'll know that I have the right pipe. Uh, we want the hottest water coming to the uh, hot water tank first. If she hears water coming into that pipe first, then I have the wrong one and I'll have to just flip them. So her ears will be the, the determination of which, which pipe I label out there. I'm gonna have you listening for for the water in a minute. All right, you ready? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go turn the water on and then you let me know when you hear it.
Okay, you ready? Here it comes. You hear anything? Yeah. It's right there. It's over there. So you heard it there first? Yeah. It didn't go through that pipe at all. Like, at all. I didn't hear anything. Okay, it's going through there now. It is? But you certainly, you definitely yes, heard it there 100%. first. Yes, 100%. 100%. Okay. Okay, that's it then. I've got it. I've got it backwards. So I'll label that's the return line and that's the supply. Good job. Well, looks like it works and it's clear. Although I got all my stuff wet. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today. Uh, got a few things to button up. We uh, have one leak out here and that I need a, to get a new O-ring for. I'll do that tomorrow. Pop the new O-ring on and get that fitting uh, tightened up, so that should be good. Uh, no other leaks in the, in any of the old uh, piping, so I'm pretty happy with that. That's one thing I was worried about was all those fittings, and everything seemed to, to leak check okay, so that's a good sign. So a few days left before the new wood boiler gets delivered. Everything else is uh, is ready out here, so we're going to get the, the boiler delivered, set on the pad. We'll hook some things up, get the power up, so hopefully on Saturday of this week we can uh, get the boiler delivered, set it on this pad, hook everything up, get it filled with water, and uh, test it out, see how things work. I'd love to, to fire it up and, and uh, see if we can heat some hot water at least uh, until the temperatures get cold enough. We're certainly not running the heat uh, today, it's over 80. So. So thanks for tagging along today for the next installment of the getting this wood boiler installed. If you guys have questions or comments, please throw those things down below. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.